All right, welcome guys. I just wanted to give you a tour of the Winnebago, just so you kind of have a rundown of how everything works. So we're gonna kind of start on the outside of the coach and then we'll go inside of it. So if you wanna come over here, obviously we're kind of start with the, the propane area. So if you need to fill up propane, uh, you just go to anywhere that fills it up, gas station, anything like that. They will connect to this and they will fill it up. Um, there is a on and off switch here for it. So there's one here and there's one inside, which I will show you later. But when you're traveling, you can have it off. Um, when you're not traveling, you can just turn it on. Uh, that will run, that basically only runs the, um, the gas stove for you. So that's kind of where you turn it on, there's a switch inside I'll show you. So if we come around this way, um, obviously here's your back doors. There we go. You can kind of open them up like this. And there's a little handle right here. You just pull, and these go all the way. And they actually go all the way back, too. So if you want to have it open, you can kind of have it like this. Um, and we'll kind of start. Well, we'll do the water while we're here and then we'll kind of continue on all the exterior stuff and how you drain it, fill it, things like that. So there is a little shower head port here. It's not really a shower head, but it is a little spray down nozzle you can have. You want to spray off your pets or your feet or shoes or anything like that. And all that does is go right in here and it just hooks right in like that. You got your hot and cold water. Um, and then when you want to remove it, you just kind of push it in and it pops right out. This hose would be stored right back here. Um, same with the water hose. It will be right in this container too, this little cubby. And basically, this is where your water system is. So if you are out here using the water, what I just showed you, you have to turn on your water pump there um, to have the water come out. Now there's a, a switch inside too that I will show you but this runs either that one or that one when you switch it. Um, so you don't have to go back inside. Now, this is where you fill the water if you need to, just like that. And there's directions here for dry camping, um, if you hooked up the city water um, and to fill up the tank. So basically if you're dry camping, you just look at this little one right here and you make sure all the arrows are the same. So it's white down, green up, red up, blue to the side like that. Now, if you need to fill it, all you would have to do to fill it, you would look at this one right here and you just turn the green one to that way and that's how you fill it. Um, and if you're hooked up to city water, um, you can do it if you're parked at a campsite, but this door has to stay open to have the hose come in here. Um, so you would just turn it, basically you follow the directions again city water and obviously if you're at a campground um you, you can have to leave the door open to fill it a thing you can do is just run it off the tank when it gets low just hook it up and fill it again so that way you don't have to have this propped open there's no kind of inlet for it um, and obviously the hose just goes right in here um, and you just fill it up that way so and then when you're dry camping again you'll just turn it just like that and you're ready to dry camp so a neat little thing too um, yeah, I guess I can see inside, but these doors actually come together like this and there's two rods on the side. So one thing cool with this, if you wanted to kind of shower outside or have a little more privacy, these go together like so, and then a little pin is pushed together like that and it locks in and there's actually a curtain that will come across to here and hang. So it hangs down, it kind of gives you a little more privacy. Um, if you want to spray off, you can actually take a shower out here um, if you want to, because it's hot, cold water hook up there. Um, so that's a nice little thing if you want to have a little more space. And you just pull it apart and it will go down and it just connects right there. So pretty simple. Obviously you have your your window things here you just unfold them zip it up when you're sleeping at night so everything can be blacked out and no one can kind of see in when you're when you're sleeping so 
And if we kind of go in here, I'll show you a few more things while we're here. There's kind of a little storage area here. Um, if you want to store some things, a cooler, things like that. And there's these little loopholes right here that, that, that you can move around. So basically all you do is pull, pull it back like that and they'll come out. So you can kind of move them around to the different things. There's ones on the floor here. They just connect right in um, on both sides. So if you want to kind of strap something down, you're hauling some luggage, things like that, you have room for that. Um, and then it doesn't go anywhere and you just pull it back. This has a little spring on it. So you just pull it back, push it in the big side and it just stays right there and locks into play. So a few other things here, we have storage for you. So if you lift up, we put a, a few things in here for you. So we have some adjustable straps. If you guys bring anything, you kind of have these, we'll stay in here. Um, if for some reason you get a flat on, on the road, we have a fix a flat um, kind of thing. This is temporary. So obviously um, you don't want to use it unless you really need to use it. Um, but it, it will be in here for you too. Um, and then we have a converter for you. So if you go to a campground, uh, please use this to plug into their power. Um, and then that just plugs right into your power cord. If you're going to hook up to a campground, you'll just plug that into there. And this will plug into the coach, which I will show you in a minute here. Um, so all that will be down in the storage here. Um, like I said, if you if you go to a camp, please use this inverter um, because sometimes it can surge and it can ruin things in the van. So just for you, so you don't ruin your fun camping and just everything else. We actually threw a wheel chalk in here too for you. Um, so if you're kind of on a little bit of a slope or if you're parked and you feel like you want to put it, put it on the wheels, it's there for you to use uh, just kind of safety wise. So this will all be in the storage here. And what I will actually do now is walk around and show you how you plug in the power cord. So the power cord is actually on this side of the van. There's a few things over here. Um, so this is the 30, it's a 30 amp plug. So it goes right here. This just pops open. Obviously this kind of unrails and there's a little thing here. So what you do is you just kind of slides in like that and, and then you just twist it on so that way it's connected just like that and then obviously you can plug this into the campground if you're there obviously if you're dry camping uh, you don't need it and there is also a generator on board here which i will talk about and so since we're kind of over here i will go over a few other things so this is your uh toilet um how you empty your toilet so if you need to if you're having it for a long time this is how you do it, it is locked up right now the key is actually on the key fob. And all you do is you take it, put it in there and we'll unlock it. And then you have these two buttons. So you're gonna to wanna to push them at the same time and it just opens right up. And it's a little little toilet container here that you would have to drain. And all you do is, so it's locked in there now. And to unlock it, you just pull this handle down, or sorry, you lift this handle up and it pulls right out. Now, as you pull out this top, will actually close so that way it's self-contained um, and then you just take it out obviously um, you turn this over this takes off and you can just dump it in in the rv dump or um, a toilet if you need to um, at a gas station or something like that um, so that's how you empty it this is a five gallon um, to put it back in you just slide it right back in and it locks um, so that way you can and then you can lock it back up when you're traveling that will go down now this here is actually your gray water tank this is where you drain your gray water tank so it has fresh water about 25 gallons and same with the dry gray water and there's a uh, sensor in there i will show you to see how full it is all you do there's a hose on the other side i didn't cover and i will go back over to it you just unhook this pull it off put the hose on there twist right in and then you just pull this tank, this lever right here, comes out a couple inches, and it'll drain your gray water and you're good to go. And then you just uh, unhook the hose and then you just hook this right back up and twist it on. So that's pretty much it. So you have this little vent right here. If you're turning the vent on or the heat on the furnace, 
this is where the heat kind of exits. So if you're setting up, make sure little kids or you don't set anything that will can kind of burn like chairs or something like that because heat will come out of here and it get pretty hot. Um, this vent is just for um, kind of the water vent like you have in your house so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the other big question you always have, where do you fill it up, right? So you actually have to open the door and the gas tank is right here. And you just open it up like that and obviously your gas, you just like a normal gas tap, you just twist it off. Now to fill it up, you have to have the door open because this is hidden with, with the door. So that's exactly where you fill that up. So right there. Um, and then obviously you have your mirrors, everything else. You come around um, this way of the front of the coach. Obviously the motor is the same. You get in it, there's a little button there if you have to. Um, just kind of like a normal car, it will pop up. You have a little lever, um, but you shouldn't, you guys shouldn't really have to be doing that um, unless you take it for a very long time. Uh, we'll come back over. I did miss one thing here, and it was the, the hose for the gray water. And that is actually stored right back on this side by the propane, and it's stored in this little, little container right here. You just twist the thing, and it will come down, and you just pull your hose out, and that's what will hook on to the gray water drain. Um, you can drain that at obviously the RV dump, stuff like that. And then you put it right back in there. And this just kind of pops in and twists for a lot. That way then you kind of have your hose, you don't have to drag it inside and out the coach. So we'll kind of go inside. There's a lot to it inside here. So obviously you open it, it goes all the way. Um, there is a little screen here if you want to, obviously if it's cool out, you want to let air in, it just unfolds here, zips down. Now the nice thing about that is you don't have to unzip it every time you want to get in. It has a little magnet here, so it just zips there and you can kind of pull it to the side. Um, this is kind of where you run the battery system here. Make sure it will be on on. And you'll kind of see a light, there should be a light there uh, that turns on and then that will run your switches and all that um, right there. Obviously, if you turn it off, everything turns off. Uh, when you're plugged in, the green, it's always going to be on because obviously you plugged in and ready to go. Now, a few other features. Obviously, you have your fridge here. Um, this runs when the coach is running itself or um, if you have the generator on, it keeps cold. Um, there's a little latch here when you're traveling. You just slide it forward and it opens right up. And you have your fridge there, um, stuff here to put, and you have your freezer. There is a little knob in here for your temperature on how cold you want it, um, right in there. So pretty little simple. Um, that's basically the fridge. Now, if you want to come along here, there's a couple things I'll show you. You actually have another water hookup, like the back, that the sprayer will connect into. You have your hot and cold plugs in the same way as it did on the back. You have a uh, outlet right here. Obviously to use this, you either have to be plugged in or run the generator. It has a solar panel on that on here, but basically it only runs the lights. Um, if you want to run the AC, um, you have to have the generator going or be plugged in. Um, there is the fire extinguisher right here. There's a little latch, you unlatch it, need to use it, you're good to go. So if we want to come into the coach, Actually, oh yeah, actually, here is your um, detector for carbon dioxide. Um, so obviously there's a green light there. That means you're good to go. If it goes off, obviously open everything up, air it out. Um, and then there's a little button on here for test or mute. Uh, so that way the ringing will actually stop. Uh, before we get in, I wanted to show you these chairs too. So these chairs, both driver side and passenger swivel. So basically you have this will control the back side of the seat um, it's on the other side on the driver's side same way and then there's another handle like this right here and you lift that and that's what swivels these seats um, to kind of go around so if you're sitting parked you have people you want to hang out um, they just swivel like that this is the lever to swivel and obviously this is to kind of move the seat back and forth so, and then again, you want to swivel, you just left that side of it. It swivels right around and locks in. 
Now, as we come in here, a lot of features in this coach. Um, you have storage. There's a little storage thing here. There's not much, um, barely a little room, but if you want to store a few things, um, you can use that right there. On top here, same thing. You have storage. Uh, you just lift the handle like that, and there's actually a little magnet that holds it so you don't have to kind of keep holding it yourself. So as you kind of come in, this is kind of the, the whole unit that runs itself. So we're gonna kind of walk through this. Um, obviously this is your generator button. So if you want to start the generator, all you do is kind of prime it for a few seconds with down and then you just lift up to start and you should hear it start. I don't know if you could hear it on the video. Uh, so now the generator is running. So if you want to turn it off, all you do flip the switch and turns right off. Um, this is your water pump. Like I was telling you in the back, um, in order to get water running through, you just turn the pump up like that and it will run the water. The pump will run out on the water. So you have some more um, pressure to the faucet or the shower. Um, other things here, this is your, this is where you can tell where your tanks are at. So yeah, it says gray water, you just push it. And obviously it's empty right now. Uh, so you can kind of tell where you're at. You move to your battery, see what your battery power is. We're at three, three or two thirds right now on battery. So we're good to go there. Um, this is for your propane too. Um, you just check it. So obviously it's full. This is that switch I was telling you on the outside. Um, it's off here. So if you wanted to use it, you just turn it on here. So you don't have to go outside for propane, for propane to do it. Now, this is your battery and solar uh, little thing. It will tell you um, that it's obviously it's charging right now. We have some solar. Um, it kind of tells you where you're at for wattage, um, things like that. So you can kind of go through it. Um, Shouldn't have to do much with that. This right here is for the hot water heater. So if you want to take a shower, um, you obviously flip that on. It will start heating the water. Um, and then when you're done with it, you just flip it off. Um, now this right here, this does multiple things. So if you go into here and you click on it, this right here when it's blinking with the RV temp, this is actually the furnace. So if it's getting cold out, you want to set the furnace on, you just click on it again and you just turn your temperature to where you want it to be. Um, and obviously if it hits that temperature, it will turn off itself. Um, and to make sure it gets set at that temperature, you just push it again and it's set. If you don't push it, it's going to go automatically back to off. Uh, so if you want to turn it off again, you push that and you just turn it all the way down to off and then you hit it again now this right here controls the temperature of your water um, for equal mode for hot um, obviously it gets hotter here it doesn't get as hot but it's still hot um, so you want to set that for hot and then you can turn the hot water heater on that way so that basically runs that um, and then when you're traveling i always like to kind of turn it off so you're not not using it other than that, that's pretty much that system there. So it runs the hot water heater and the furnace. How do you turn the furnace all the way off? The furnace turns all the way off when you turn the temperature like that. So then it's off and you push it again, it will stay off that way. Um, the LP is on, so I'm kind of show over. Obviously this is your little burner stove. Uh, so this is glass, so just be careful. Um, but obviously if you want to light, light it, you just kind of turn, push down and turn a little and hit the switch and it should start here and there it goes so then you just control your temperature that way same thing for this one you want to turn on you have to hit that little igniter and it turns right on um, that's all that kind of runs that um, and then if you want a little extra room for here this latch will actually open up and a little table slides out right here um, so a little cutting space, um, and then you come over, you kind of have your sink right here. So if you turn the, the pump on there and then it just runs like your normal sink. Um, and then this right here, this is like a pre pre heater for, for the sink water. Um, so that way you don't have to drain all your fresh water. All you do is have it on preheat. Um, it starts heating up um, and then that way then you have hot water instantly so you don't it's circling right now so you don't have power um, and it will warm up the water for you in the tank um, so just give that a few moments 
you know, five minutes or so to kind of heat so that way then you're not trying to wait for the hot water to get hot. Um, and when you're done, you just flip the switch up to normal and it will shut off. Now this right here, this actually shows you where your fresh water level is. So you come here, you hit the switch, and you can actually see right here where the water is at. Um, so you're kind of three fourths of the way up right now. Um, we will have this always have this filled for you. Um, obviously, when you return it, you don't have to fill the water. You don't have to empty the gray water tank um, or the toilet if you're taking it for a short period. But obviously, if you have it for a long period, you kind of show show how you hook it up and fill it up. Another outlet if you want to bring a coffee maker, things like that. You also have some plug-ins for your cell phone right here above the sink. And there's a, a little charger there to plug in a phone or something. Also, um, we have a little rack here with soap, some spices. Now there's another storage unit up here. That's where you have a saute and a, a pan, some cups here. If you get the home style package, this will come with it and those will be in there. Um, you also have a little drawer right here. We have a lighter in here for you, um, some, some towel, your garbage, pretty simple. This just opens up. Um, and there's a little thing in here. This has some utensils in it, things like that, that will be. Uh, and then we kind of come back here, um, more storage. Again, you just lift the handle. These have magnets. This will always be in here, uh, no matter what you get. It's a little uh, first aid kit in here and some flashlights just in case. Um, and then you kind of come back here, uh, more storage like that. Um, and then we'll kind of, obviously we have towels um, and your bedding down here. And then the comforter is on this side with the pillows will be down here too. Um, another little storage thing here. This will, has kind of information. Obviously if you blow a fuse or something wrong, this is kind of your fuse box, as you would say in your house. Um, so it just kind of pops right off the top and it comes down. These are your um, switches. Uh, if something blows, your breaker is right here. And these are all the things like a normal car. Now, if one of these blows, uh, supposedly there's supposed to be a light that will light up saying that it, it blows so you know where to, uh, to replace that. Now, this is the bed back here. Um, it's kind of like a Murphy bed. Obviously it has a little table if you want to use it. You kind of do the same thing. You just turn it up and lift it. And this is kind of funky. Um, what you do is you kind of slide it it has a little arrow right there and you slide it that way and it just comes right down um, so if you want to set up have a little table something work computer thing there um, and then same thing when you try to fold it up you just slide it back towards that arrow and it folds right up and then you strap it down now at night you want to get the bed going fold it up or whatever it has a little latch here when you're traveling um, and when it's up, you do the same thing and you just pull it out and it will actually come fold right down and it just sits like that. Um, so you have your bed there. Um, obviously you can have it down if you want, whenever. Uh, you also have storage here, again, for some things. Uh, window cover. Uh, these actually open up too if you want to have air breezing through or you can fold this up when you're sleeping so then no one can see in again more outlets in that storage thing yep and there's some more outlets here and a, and a plug-in now this is your ac unit um this kind of this will control some of the vents here there's a few here um you can just turn this on and run the fan if you want uh it doesn't actually turn on the cold part of it but it will circulate air obviously to have this running you have to have the generator going or it plugged in um, and then it shows, shows low fan, high fan, and then it's low cool and high cool. And this is kind of your temperature, how cold it gets. Um, obviously if you're camping and it's really hot, um, it only takes, it only gets it about 20 degrees cooler in here than outside. So obviously you're camping in the summer, it's a hundred and some degrees outside here in Arizona, or if you go up north, it gets a little cooler. It only takes it down 15, 20 degrees compared to outside. Cause it takes a while to, to kind of cool down not necessarily cool down but to keep it cool as it gets hotter um, also with the generator um, 
it runs off the same tank as the gas to run the vehicle. Now it's supposed to shut off when you have a quarter of a tank less or less than the generator won't run. Um, still be cautious, still look at it, make sure if you're dry camping, uh, when you're getting close, always fill up the vehicle. Um, that way then you'll, you'll have your gas um, full um, to run. You can normally get, if the gas tank is full, you can get a couple solid, a good solid night, maybe two off the generator, depending on if you're running it all day or not, or if you're just running it at night. Um, so just be cautious when you run the generator because it does go off the same tank. Um, now this is your shower and your bathroom right here. There's a little light switch here. Um, this locks in, so you just kind of lift it up like that and it will fold right out like this. Um, you have a little mirror. If you close here with the bar, obviously if you're taller and you're gonna take a shower, this actually just pops right out. Um, so you don't have to keep it in there. It will just pop right out. Um, your toilet, same thing. So when you go to use it, obviously um, you want to make sure it's it's open like that um, and then you just hit the button and it will flush but it needs to be open but it needs to be open yep just like that so um, pretty simple and then it goes in that tank the question of the day where's the toilet paper where is the toilet paper it's in this little container right here it's a waterproof thing um, you got to use RV toilet paper. Obviously, we'll have it for you. Um, but please don't put anything, any um, few, products. any products down the toilet. Uh, just the toilet paper, and that just locks. It just folds, folds right back up, and then you lock it in place when you're traveling, so it doesn't come open. And if you come over here, so there's a table right behind these seats. So basically, the bar is right here. You just pull the bar out. And it goes right in this place right here. Lock it down. It just, you don't twist or anything. You just set it in there. The table pulls up. And you just set the table right on top like that. So you have a little place to eat. Obviously these chairs can be turned around. Um, so you, if you have a family of four, you can kind of sit at the little dinner table and eat. So when you're ready to put it away, goes like that make sure when you put this table away because I did this I put it the wrong way so it does not go in this way it goes in this way um, you always make sure this silver part is back because if you put it in the wrong way it is really hard to get it out it kind of gets stuck there uh, so make sure that the, the, it kind of goes back in that way pull just lifts right up and fits right there's a little two little clips down there pops right in so you move forward um, a few things up here we have a set of four chairs here for you in this little compartment right here and then for the windows so if you want to cover them at night um, there's this box um, it has for the two uh, windows on the side here they're kind of magnet they fold kind of fold up and go on the window so this is one of the cool features we like about the Winnebago. So this has a pop-up. A couple things with this. Um, in order to travel, you got to make sure this is strapped in. Because if it's not strapped in correctly, the pop-top will actually pop up when you're driving. So there's Super a, scary. Yeah, so there's a few features to here. So on both sides, there's two straps. So a total of four. So on this side, it has a little button. You just like a seatbelt, pull it down. And this kind of just twists just like that and pops open same thing on this side you come over here hit the button and it pops right open so now you can actually lift the pot top up so and so you just push it up you can kind of go like that it goes all the way up once you get to a certain spot it, it kind of goes, goes by, by itself. itself now if you go over here there's some plug-ins and, and the light switch right here for this little light um, there's also a ladder up here that you will pull down comes in two pieces so this obviously goes up and it will latch right there when you get the other piece will come down and just kind of basically goes together like so 
slides in this side, slides in there, has these little locks on both sides. So you just flip it up and it just latches right in and swings down. It's really sturdy. I'll show you. Uh, it sleeps two adults. Um, obviously kids, well, our daughters will sleep, sleep up there just fine. I actually really love going up there. Uh, windows on both sides for vintage. Has a little vent up top. Um, so you pop up, pop down. So I will kind of show you how to take it all down uh, when you're traveling. Um, obviously you want to zip all the windows up. And then the ladder will go back up there. You just unfold it. You just store it right up here. It just lifts right up. Now, to pull this down, like I said, you have those little handles. So, just come up here and just pull them straight down. It comes pretty easy. Just make sure you kind of, you know, you pull them level, but it's pretty good. And then obviously as you're coming down this, you gotta be careful because you gotta kind of tuck it away, um, tuck it in a little bit. Um, that way it's not in those latches. Um, so you just come down, kind of move the mat latches out of the way. There's that and little magnets so they hang. Um, just make sure it's all the way down, which it is. And now again, you just go back to the same process, bring this down. Twist ups and locked. You just fold it up and you use this buckle, latch it. So you can lock yourself in by using this button here. You just push it down and it will lock all the all the doors for you at night. Um, obviously a few features. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, connected to it, so you're nice and travel. It's got a little phone holder here. Um, push start. All your nav that you or the, all the controls you normally have for a cruise. Now, a few things over here if you can get it. Um, if you're camping and say the battery gets low, this is a boost button right here. If you can see it, it's right down here. It says battery boost, and you turn that on, and it will connect all the batteries. Like if for some reason this battery, the car won't start, it will connect all the batteries and hopefully give you enough juice to start the vehicle. Um, parking brake here. Every time you put it in park. The parking brake goes automatically on, um, so you just, it's a push button, you just you just push in and it will go off. Um, it has a camera for a mirror um, for here, so when you're traveling, you can see the traffic, reverse camera, all the things you would have it. Okay, I think that's it. See you later.